my name is Mel and today I am going to be taking you through how to do this stage makeup look. Um, it is aimed at dancers, however, if you are looking for a nice bold look for a special event, whether you perform on stage in calisthenics or in music theatre, you can still watch this video, uh, but it is done from a dancer's point of view. Anyhow, here it is and I hope you enjoy. So before you start on your makeup, the first thing you need to do is to wash your face and to brush your teeth. Washing your face is really important because it means that your skin is going to be clean and ready for your makeup to go on. And brushing your teeth because once you have your lipstick on, it's really hard to brush your teeth without ruining it. So our first step is to moisturize your skin. Now, moisturizing is going to be a really important part of your routine as a dancer because as you know, our skin goes through a lot, whether it be sweating, our makeup. Moisturizing is just a really important way to make sure that our skin retains moisture and it helps prepare the skin as well for makeup. It means that the makeup doesn't as easily go into our pores because instead we've got our moisturizer on. After our skin is moisturized, the next step is to prime it. I am using a liquid primer. Uh, some primers are more of a gel type and really it doesn't matter. Whatever you find works for your skin is going to be absolutely fine. I apply it with a fluffy brush, put a little bit on the back of my hand and rub it in in gentle circles, moving up the face. moisturized and primed ready for makeup. Now when it comes to doing your makeup there's a couple of different orders in which you can do it. You can either do your eyes first and then your base or you can do your base and then your eyes. Because this eye makeup is so heavy and black when it does fall out um, it's really hard to get off of your base makeup. I'm going to show you how to do it in doing the eyes first and then your base second. It just makes cleanup a lot easier because if you get any fallout underneath your eyes, you can just use a makeup wipe, wash it all away, and then apply your base as you normally would. So to apply a base first, I put concealer around my eyes and my eyebrows. gonna make it a little bit easier when I later do my base because I have the concealer right in close to my eyebrows so I don't have so much of a harsh line when I then try to do my base around my eye makeup. So I'm going to start with my brows. Now I use a brow pomade. You can also use a brow pencil, brow pencil or a crayon, some eyeshadow or a brow shadow, whatever feels right for your eyebrows. I personally like a very bold brow, which is why I go in for a brow pomade. Um, you can get a similar effect with a brow pencil if you already have quite full eyebrows. Um, mine are a little bit sparse in the front, so I do like to fill mine in nice and thick. So I'm gonna start by brushing all my eyebrow hairs up getting a small amount of the brow pomade or brow gel on my angled brush. And then I start with a line underneath the eyebrow. Oops, a bit of a mistake, we'll clean that up like so. Any mistakes, I always have some cotton tips on hand. 
and just fix that up. And so for the top of the brow, we brush the hairs down and do the same thing, but along the top, starting from this point kind of here, which is about one quarter in, because the front of your eyebrow, we're going to kind of feather it to make it more soft, less bold. Now, as you can see, it's quite, quite dark, quite heavy. And that's absolutely fine because this is stage makeup, you know? It doesn't, you don't want it to be light and soft. You want it to be quite thick and quite heavy because people have to be able to see it from the back of the audience, you know? Okay, so I'm just doing the front part and I'm just kind of gently feathering it. Like that. And then just gently and softly feathering it like this. Just to create a bit of a softer look at the beginning of your eyebrow. Lovely. And now repeat on the opposite side. So to just neaten my eyebrows up once I've drawn them on, I like to get a little bit of concealer and a clean angled brush and just draw along the underside of them like this and blend it out a little bit just to get them looking really sharp. Moving on to the eyeshadow. Now, as I said, there is a high chance you're gonna have a lot of fallout because it is a dark shadow. When you're using blacks and silvers and grays, they are very intense. So to help with fallout a little bit before you get started, put some powder underneath your eyes because this is going to make it easier later to get it off. Now, of course, we're going to wash the skin anyway, but that just makes it easier so there's less smudges. So I'm going to start by doing a base on my eye with a neutral light color, um, just pale color, and I'm just going to brush that all over my eyelid, just as a bit of a base for the rest of it to go on. I find it makes the dark colors a bit easier to blend as well if you already have a bit of shadow on your eyes. And with this, it doesn't really matter how you apply it because you can't really see it, you know? It's just a base. Now I'm taking a black shadow and I'm just gently dabbing my brush into it. I'm not taking too much because we're gonna build this up. Rather than going in really intense and heavy, start with a little bit and then keep building it and I'm going to start applying it in the crease of my eye, which is where you can see my eyelid creases. And we're going to blend in a triangular fashion up towards the arch of my eyebrow. eyelids are shaped the same way so you might find that this looks, this looks a little bit odd on you and um, so the best way to figure out what looks good on you is trial and error you can see it's just 
starting to take shape. Got a nice oval going on. And I'm trying to pack the color in deeper in the crease and blend it on the edges. To blend it a little better on the edges, I'm taking a clean brush and just kind of gently rubbing the edges to make them softer. Once your eye makeup was looking at a similar level of heaviness to this, stop, repeat the other side. I'm just going to soften the edges. I like to just bring the black underneath my eye here as well. So now to go in with some silver. I'm just going to, in the center of the eye here, Use that neutral color to kind of lighten the lower lid of my eye a little bit to hopefully make the silver shadow pop. Now with metallics, because um, that's what I'm using, a metallic shadow, I find that these are best to apply with a finger. So I go into my pan, like so, and I dab it onto my eyelid. Now in the very inner corners of my eyes, I'm using a much lighter kind of sparkly color. And I'm just putting that right in the center here. It's going to open up your eyes, make them look a little bit bigger. Lovely. The next step can be quite tricky and that is to do liquid eyeliner. Now, there are many different ways of doing your eyeliner and there are many different types of eyeliner but for an impactful look like this that you want to last the whole night you're going to want to use a liquid eyeliner now this does take some practice to get correct i've been doing liquid eyeliner for about 10 years now so for me it's second nature but if you're just starting out i do recommend practicing at least a few times um, before you jump in with it and um, practice on the back of your hand and then move on to your eye. Some people use tape, some people use um, different utensils to get it right. Um, but once you've got the hang of it, it's pretty easy to know what you're doing. So I have a felt tip liquid liner and I'm gonna start on the lid of my eye, just above my eyelashes. And I'm going to draw a line across my lashes like so. Getting it nice and close to the lashes as possible. And just down the front as well, really gently. Okay, step one. Step two is to create the wing. Now, your wing is going to go towards the corner of your eyebrow from the corner of your eyelashes. So, Then we join it all together. So 
now I'm just going to gently go over that top line. Sharpen that wing. With this kind of look, you're gonna put lashes over the top. So it's gonna hide a lot of the little mistakes that you've made. So it doesn't matter if it's perfect. So when it looks good, stop, do the other one, and then go back in and make amendments. That is my liner done. Now that I've done the main parts of my eyes and I've only got the lashes to go, I'm going to jump in and do my base of my makeup. So my foundation, my concealer, my contour, and then I'll just fix the eyes up as a last thing before my lipstick. So to start our base, I'm just going to brush away that powder that we've put underneath our eyes before. And for your face, it is best if you're using a color which does not match your natural skin tone. In fact, I recommend it be two to three shades darker, um, just because you are gonna be on stage. Chances are you've also done a bit of fake tan for this. So the color of your foundation needs to be a little bit darker, one to match the fake tan, and two so that you don't look so bright under the stage lights. Uh, for myself in particular, I am very pale naturally. So the color that I use is quite a bit darker than my natural skin tone, which looks silly right now, but once I'm up on stage, it's much better. So I'm going to apply this onto the back of my hand. And then using a brush, using a brush like this, you apply to my face in circles. Now for this you could also use a sponge, but I just find that for heavy stage makeup, a brush applies it much thicker. Whereas a sponge kind of uh, dilutes the foundation, I guess is a way of putting it. It just gives you much more of a natural look. And we're not going for a natural look here, you know? We're going for stage makeup. This has got to be seen from the back of the room. Because, you know, your family all paid to come and see you. And you want them to be able to pick you out. So we don't want anything natural. We want bold and heavy. It's really important that you do make sure that you're blending down your neck and also right into your hairline. With the concealer, I use two different shades. I have a lighter one for highlighting, and then I have one that's a bit closer to the skin tone for covering up spots. Now, as you can see, I have a nice large spot on my chin at the moment. So I'm going to put concealer around it like so. And then using my sponge, Ta-da! It's gone. Uh, repeat with any other spots that you have on your face. And now I'm taking my lighter colour and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes again. Down the centre of my nose. Here. Down my chin. And underneath my nostrils. I use a sponge to blend it out. The 
next step is to contour. You can do this either with a cream or a shadow contour. I prefer to use a cream contour. Choosing the nice dark color. I'm going to grab a larger angled brush and use it to carve out my cheekbones. And also to hide the fact that I have more than one chin. With the same brush that I used to apply my foundation, I'm now going to blend this out in circular motions in an upward fashion. With this one, we're going to blend downwards. but I'm gonna set it all in with some powder. Now with powder, you have a couple of different options. You can either use a translucent powder, which is what I use, because my skin pretty much is translucent, or you can use a powder which matches your skin tone. Either is fine, um, whatever works best for you. Now my powder comes with a little powder puff, so I dab it all over with my powder puff and then I will blend it out with a floppy brush. a good time to remind you once again do not wear your costume while putting on your makeup because you will probably get powder and makeup all over you and as you can see it doesn't just brush off it makes a mess <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer so I have a matte bronzer I'm just going to go over the cheeks which I've contoured and along my hairline uh, just to really snatch in my face, make it look toned and pretty. Let's add some blush. I'm going for a slightly shimmery peach color. With blush, you can probably use whatever you want as long as it's in the pinks and red spectrum. I like mine to have a little bit of shimmer for a little something extra. And I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. So as you can see, I'm smiling in a bit of a weird way to push my cheeks upwards like this to use as a guide. And of course we'll finish it off with a little bit of highlighter. Now with your highlighter you can apply it using a finger or a fan brush. And I'm just going to gently put that on the height highest part of my cheekbones and my nose, the very end of my nose, and my cupid's bow. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm 
going to put it on my eyes like so. Just a really draw attention to those eyes. It must be lashes time. The lashes I am using are nice big ones that look like this. Mm, mm, mm. Now you can re-wear lashes. You don't have to buy a new pair for every single show. It's just important that we take good care of them. Uh, when you take them off, clean them with a little bit of micellar water and make sure you peel off any excess glue that's on them because it's going to make them harder to apply the next time. So the cleaner you can keep your lashes, the longer you can continue using them for. So a little bit of micellar water with a little bit of a cotton bud. Um, I find that is the best way to keep your lashes nice and clean for future use. So what I'm going to do is take my lash glue and apply it to the back of my hand. I'm running low. So I've applied my lash glue to the back of my hand just going to take my lash and drag it through the glue like so. Use my tweezers to hold it in the center like that. I'm just going to let that air dry for a little bit and get nice and tacky while I apply some mascara. glue on my eyelash has gotten nice and tacky, which means it is ready to apply. So here we go. I'm just going to brush my natural lashes into that lash just to make them stick a little bit better to each other make them look more natural just so that you can't see where my lashes start and the false lashes begin lovely repeat on the other side and that is your lashes done and as predicted, the eye makeup suddenly looks a lot less crazy once you've got all your lashes on. Now that everything is done, our last step is to finish it off with some lipstick. Now for my lipstick, I am using a bright and bold red. Do double check with your dance school before you use your lipstick because some dance schools will ask you to use a pink instead, but 90% of the time it is going to be a bright fire engine red. Before I apply my lipstick, I like to dab a little bit of lip balm onto my lips. Now, some people use a lip liner and that is completely up to you whether you would like to use a lip liner. I personally don't. I find that with these bold colors, especially with a liquid lip, you don't really need one because it is so intense and doubles as a lip liner as well. Um, I also recommend using a liquid lip over a stick lipstick. I just find that the color is a lot more intense, it's less likely to rub off, and it lasts all night. So I'm going to start and with my Cupid's bow, which is this part here of my lip. I just trace down, going slightly outside the natural line of my lip. To do the bottom lip, just start by applying some color and then 
gently carving out the edge. Now because it is such a high intensity color, I like to actually take a lip brush and just go over the edges to make sure that it's all neat um, because any imperfections can really easily be seen. All that's left to do is set it with some setting spray. And there you have it, your finished look. And you are ready for the stage. Now, if you do try this makeup look at home, please do tag us at Studio Scene on social media when you post it. We would absolutely love to see how you guys go and if you have any feedback on the video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next time.